springtime. I, I I like spring. I'm more privy to liking summer, but well, yeah, that's but just me. you know, spring means summer is coming. Yeah, oh. and there's more flowers in the spring. Today we are making this. We are making a um, mason, mason bee, bee house, <laughs> and we are going to um, put some cocoons in there. So we are going to have some mason bees for our circle. Yes. And this is how hmm. you avoid spending a stupid amount of money for something a third of the size of this thing, um, and literally just do it for literally <laughs> less than. Actually, we go, this is free. This is bamboo from our yard and scrap wood. Yep. Where can you go skiing in summertime? I just bought some skis. I got a pair of skis from know. Goodwill for. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm sure there's somewhere we can go, like Leavenworth or something. I think maybe I don't know. All right. Let's do this. What I have right here is some mason bee cocoons. So typically you would store it in this jar, in a little jar like this. Uh, with an air hole at the top, and you would keep it in a cool, dry place. Not necessarily dry, but you can even store it in your fridge, as long as your fridge doesn't freeze over, like some fridges tend to do. <laughs> These have been stored over the winter, safely in a jar, with a little air hole, and I can even feel them start to move a little bit, so they are almost ready to wake up. So, this is one of those store-bought, really cheap-made ones, Although they are <laughs> pricey. Be our guest. These are subpar. They're really not that great. I'm not going to use this. I am going to make another one. But I will put this out. I mean, something might want to live in there. We need to make a house. Let's make a house. Springtime. Get the seedlings started. Excuse the mess in here. But uh, here's some stuff I'm going to be using to make the house. Bamboo, of course. Uh, more bamboo. There's plenty more bamboo out there if I need more. Um, and tools and wood. I'm just using some scrap wood. Reclaimed scrap wood. It's just a one by four. So this is what we're going to build the structure out of. And first thing, I just need to figure out how tall do I want it to be. So I'm going to make this one probably about this tall because I want to have a little section to set the bees in for them to hatch. Uh, and then the other section for the tubes. So about this tall, I'm not really measuring it. Um, well, unless I have to. I just get a basic size that I want and I go from there. All of the lines are straight-ish. It'll work just fine. It's kind of like how I cook. Oh, I know the flavors are right. That's what I'm gonna do. Trusty skill song with the tarantula. I know somebody here that appreciates that. So I am going to have to cut this at an angle though. To 15 degree angle. Should be about right. Not going for perfection here. Looks pretty good. Now since this one already has that angle, I'm going to use that to my advantage. And measure it. Like that. Now, two even sides. This time, I have to cut it straight. No angle. Oh look, it's just right, just right. Gorgeous. So this is gonna be the two sides. I'm gonna make it just a little bit shorter. After a little bit of thinking about it, I don't want it to be too tall. There, a little bit shorter. So I have this spare piece of wood too. It's actually a tongue and groove. It only has the uh, groove and not the tongue, but hey, 
whatever. It's just some scrap wood. I'm gonna cut right here because this is gonna be the roof. I'm gonna cut past this um, this hole, so I don't have to worry about. So I don't have to worry about plugging the hole. And 15 degree angle. I think I'm gonna redo that one. We try that again. That is much better. Much better. I'm, I'm okay with that one. Okay, I'm gonna cut it about right here. Hopefully I won't mess this one up. Hi, that's pretty good. So now let's replicate this. I'm using this to make sure that I am on there. Doesn't have to be exact, exact. Right, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Because I want the groove to be on the same side. So turn it around and do it this way. So first off, let's cut past this. Uh, even that up right there. Mark my spot right here. You get the general idea. So that's the basic idea. That's gonna be the roof and the, the walls there. Okay, so I'm just using this to see if I'm about straight. And it looks like I'm down. And that's a pretty good, pretty good. So I'm gonna use that to measure where I need to cut my next piece. It's gonna be right about there. See, like that. Huh. Let's measure one for the inside. Right there. That looks good. It's gonna hold it in place. Do everything weird. <laughs> I am aware. I'm going to super glue this part together at the peak. Okay, so I put it upside down and I get the thing, I got the cut and I cut off the thing and we'll put it over here on the back. That way it fits a little bit better. I I do have staple gun. I'm gonna use staple gun. That works and I'll just tap them in the rest of the way. Bee house. We're gonna start cutting the bamboo nodes. Yeah! So we cut it on the inside of the nodule there and the inside of the nodule there. So we have a hollow pipe, and we're gonna do that for each one of these. And we're just gonna keep on going, keep on going. Who's that's the idea. Yeah. Before we begin, a couple quick safety tips when you're working with an angle grinder. One, don't be macho. Leave the guard on. Two, don't be dumb. Wear safety protection. Three, and finally, if you have long hair, make sure it's well out of the way.
But what I did was I cut an extra piece so I can have another section in there. It'll make uh, removing these to take the uh, cocoons out a lot easier. As you can see, I'm starting to put these in here. They're in varying sizes and that's fine. I actually like that look a little better. And we'll it's easier it to take them in and out. And also, I added two more pieces of wood. They're not in place yet. Um, because I'm going to fit them according to how these fit. So the idea is to fill this up to where it holds itself in place where you don't have to glue them. Because the idea is you want to be able to remove them so you can take the cocoons out for next winter and uh, store them safely indoors. That way they won't freeze to death in the winter. And also so they don't get um, pest and uh, parasites on them. Mm. Yeah, I imagine little babies would make for a good insect meal. Let's not mm. say we did. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> One last little thing I'm going to do is put this little piece right here. So I'm going to set this right here and glue it in place. So basically that is just to help hold the seeds back there. <laughs> the seeds! Oh, the cocoons! Because I'm going to place the cocoons back here and they are going to hatch. And then they'll leave and they'll come back and find them a perfect little house. They'll find a the little tube they want to stay in. Whichever one works best for them. And there you have it. Compared to the store-bought one. Ta-da! Now you don't have to make it as big as the one I made, of course, but with this one you can take the things out and clean them and uh, reuse it and harvest the Cocoons. This one is a piece of junk. It doesn't even have a good overhang to protect them from water. Thank you for watching. Like and do your thing. Like, subscribe, check out our <laughs> Instagram, our Facebook, our Twitter. Share this on your various social medias, commenting, suggestions, or stuffs down below. Check out our other videos. For uh, Our hikes and stuff are over here. Our forging and stuff is over here. And our channel's down here. <laughs> Uh, check it out and uh, hope you like what you see. Thank you. Bye. See you next time.